Hey, movie lovers. Hey. Hey, material today on Grab Bag Mini Movie Reviews. And you can tell by the empty shelves here in our archives that we have once again taken them down and put them in a random bag. And ladies and gentlemen, we put the bag on the table. Oh, yes. Right, that's, a, that's a lot of groceries right over here. Oh, look. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> Fried green tomatoes. No, ladies and gentlemen, what we did, we, you can see that we put the movies in the bag, and without knowing what they are, we will give you a grab bag mini movie review. Hence the name. All right. All right. And our first is uh, John Kensel. I'm going to put my hand in the, into this sack. That's what she, No, I'm not going to say that. Oh, wait. Now, I don't know if I should do this or not. Don't look at okay. the cat. Okay. It's a VHS. Oh. I don't know. What, what is this VHS? It's like the Dead Sea Scrolls. What is this weird thing here? Is it soap? What this is, is a, a weird... What do VHS what tapes do on vacation? What? They rewind. <laughs> Gotten Himmel. Uh, this... Uh, hey, kids, in my day, we had these... It's called the Black Brick. Yes. Uh, but it's a... It's a very popular. It's magnetic tape. That would uh, right there. Uh, that's but a uh, but uh, classic movie to catch a thief. Uh, slick. Uh, I won't say James Bond, but like it's a great. It's Grace Kelly and Cary Grant. Grace Kelly and Cary Grant in To Catch a Thief. A uh, a, a great. I I love the movie. Okay, and it is with okay America's Princess. Grace Kelly, okay, and not but, as captivating as she was in a Rear Window, but uh, very pretty and uh, a lot of uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, she grew up about four miles from where we're sitting at right now. Beautiful. She only made like five or six movies. Yeah, well, then she married, uh, the, you know, Prince Albert in the can. In the can. Prince Albert in the can. And uh, but to catch a thief, it's about uh, you know, right over here, an expatriate. From uh, the, the Second World oh, War. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm stupid here. I, I've heard the term expatriate all the time. What does that mean? They used to live here and live in a European country or something? What is... uh, well, uh, that means they, uh, they f- used to be a patriot, and now they're an expatriate. Oh, so a patriot means okay. you're... Now, he, right. But he fought for, uh, with the French, okay, underground, and he became like a, a, a cat thief, a, a okay. cat burglar. And... You know the opening of this movie when the woman discovers that her uh, her jewels are missing. What does she say? Oh, oh, my diamonds! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, is that what she said? My jewels! Oh, my jewels! Uh, yeah. <laughs> right over there. That's one of the. But uh, it shows some great, uh, you know, it shows some great thievery going on. You know how they break into houses and things like that and run across roofs. And it all takes place on the uh, French Riviera. So you get a lot of eye candy. You see, like it's a, very a lot slick, of, very very slick, like Alfred Hitchcock is. And it has like uh, it has the plot where uh, he's accused of uh, being a thief after he has stopped being a thief. Yeah, he reformed. He said, and, and like he's reformed, but then his um, his motive of uh, his mo, okay, of breaking into houses starts again, and they think it's John Roby. Played by Cary Grant. Cary Grant. Cary, yeah. yeah. And uh, he carried the movie, actually. Yes. No. But uh, it's very romantic. It's a lot of fun. It's like a little travelogue, too. And it shows her going down uh, in a, uh, a sports car, going down the same road that she had her oh, that's fatal right. accident on. In 1982, when she, had a, she supposedly had a heart attack or a stroke when she was driving, and she went over a cliff, and she died like a day or two later. Her daughter was injured. Uh, but uh, she, when you watch, when you see these movies, they were filmed, the, the film was in Technicolor, oh, 35 it's minutes. If you see this like on the big screen, you, you just look, you're stunned how beautiful she was, and, and, the, and the, but the, also the colors, how they come through. It's really neat. And it's, when you watch movies on TV, you, you don't appreciate it because you're so busy looking at your phone while it's, it's on TV. You should always see a movie like this in the theater at once at one time. At one time, yes. And, uh, you know, and this is one of Hitchcock's best at his, uh, you know, at this period. Some people, you know, they're always, uh, but it, it's, uh, it's very intriguing. I would recommend this highly. I've watched it many times. It, even on VHS, it's a, uh, it's a yes. very good movie so ladies and gentlemen to catch a thief alfred hitchcock 
Cary Grant and Grace Kelly. Yes. Watch it. Okay. Oh, now. I'm sorry. That, that uh, crushed all those DVDs, uh, didn't it? Well. All right. Now, I'm going to bring the sack up to the okay. top. Okay. Let's see if we can. Oh, that's. You do it so. Uh, with you. Oh, look. And we want to thank Acme for actually, uh, uh, you know, supplying us with this bag. Acme. All right. Uh, hey. Oh, wait, let, I have, I'm wearing my. It says a deli worker here. A jolly Rancher, more like it. All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am going to pick a movie without actually having to... Look, I'm looking this way, John. You you, you preview the ones that All you right. pick. All right, right there. It's the uh, Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray and Holland. I said that before. Right over there. Bing. The day the earth stood still. Is that the new one or the old one? That's the new one with Keanu uh. Reeves. B O R I N G. You know, oh, all right. I don't want to talk politics here. You know why this movie sucks? I, I don't know why this movie sucks. I actually was so excited to see this one, John. Oh. And uh, when I saw it in the movies, I was highly disappointed. And I maybe it was because I was comparing it to the original, which was uh, one of the best movies ever filmed. Uh, but right here, it it didn't do anything for me uh, in, it, in being a science fiction it, it fan had, and buff. It has neat special effects in it, but it's about an alien that comes to Earth to warn us about something that people don't believe it, and he has to, you know, his his robot has to threaten people to uh, show them, warn them. That's what happened in the first movie, but it was about right? the world exactly. war, uh, nuclear weapons. Well, this one here, I got to watch all I say is because I don't want to sound like I'm Victor Von Politics. Right. It, uh, they were forcing a social message. He came to Earth to say, hey, everybody, stop polluting or I'll destroy you. And we're like, we're Americans. We don't have to listen to you. And uh, he, they start destroying things because he has to teach was us. Was it about pollution? At pollution, yeah. yeah, yeah because in the beginning, it was about uh, atomic war. And, yeah. and so they turned it into pollution. I, I guess that was yeah. politically correct. And, uh, you know. Like 20, 15 years ago. Really came. And it, it could have been, it does have any, but the, when, when you try and force a, a message, even though a message is important, uh huh. It takes away from the, the story part, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but it, and the, what the, the story part in this wasn't as good. It was like uh, a musical that uh, has no plot, and uh, you just watch it for the musical, uh, for the you know musical pieces. And this is you only would watch it for the special effects pieces. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait for. I mean, Keanu Reeves is a great guy. Everybody loves mm -hmm. him. You know, I, he's done a couple of great movies. I've seen them. Those Wick uh, things. I yeah. haven't seen them, but I've seen parts of them. And he, but he's no Michael Rennie. Michael Rennie, a very trained English actor. And Gort is missing. Or is this? Uh, they had a new Gort that was like kind of high tech. It's a big, Gort. big, Gort. Fifth, fifth, twenty foot tall metal robot that's famous in famous sci fi post. And I've been a science fiction fan for years and years, and I do not. There's a saying that uh, Michael Rennie said, Gort, Briante, uh, Clat, you know. Clatu. Clatu. See, uh, I, I can't remember it either. It has the word Clatu in it. Uh, but yeah, we'll just say Clatu, and that's it. But uh, as Clatu, a, Morganti, Rees. Uh, and I would, I would guess that it would be pretty good on Blu-ray to see the special effects, especially, you know, we saw it in the movies. We had to sit through it. But if you fast forward and just go to the special effects, it's a great movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's it for? Hey, grab bag mini movie reviews. And remember, you got to press that, you know, that bell and uh, the subscribe button.